Hello, my name is Jim Johnston, Principal Engineer and Business Director for Bath Process Safety Management located in Corpus Christi, Texas. We have created a set of informative videos in order to provide you with a basic understanding of various codes and recommended practices that relates to process electrical safety. We hope you find these videos informative and insightful. Should you have any questions or comments, please feel free to direct those comments to our website at www.bathpsm.com. What is the difference in applying API RP500 and NFPA 497 for hazardous area classification? This is a very good question. The title of API RP500 is Recommended Practice for Classification of Locations for Electrical Installation at Petroleum Facilities that are classified Class 1 Division 1 and Division 2. The title of NFPA 497 is Recommended Practice for the Classification of Flammable Liquids gases or vapors of hazardous classified locations in electrical installation in chemical process areas. Note that both of these documents cover class 1 location only as defined by the National Electrical Code NFPA 70 and do not cover those with combustible dust which are class 2 locations or ignitable fibers and flyings that are class 3 locations. The first difference is NFPA 497 contains classification information in diagrams for Class I zones and Class I divisions, whereas API RP 500 contains classification information in diagrams for Class I divisions only. The second difference is the type of process equipment covered by the classification diagrams included in these recommended practices. The titles of the two documents give an indication of each one's focus. API RP 500 is typically applied to refineries, oil and gas drilling facilities, and pipeline installations. Typical unit operations include large volume material storage and transfer, separation, drilling operations both on land and offshore. NFPA 497 is typically applied to chemical processing and manufacturing areas. Typical unit operations include separation, drying, filtration, coating, spraying, and chirogenic and cold liquefied gas processing systems. Aside from the differences mentioned above, the purpose of these two documents is the same. The purpose of NFPA 497 is stated in Section 1.2 under the heading Purpose is to provide the user with a basic understanding of the parameters that define the degree and extent of the hazardous classified location. This recommended practice also provides the end user with examples of the applications of these parameters. This is per section 1.1.2 under scope to allow the classification into the groups established by NFPA 70, the National Electrical Code known as the NEC for proper selection of electrical equipment in hazardous classified locations. The purpose of API RP 500, as stated in Section 1.1.1 under the heading Purpose, and I quote here, is to provide guidelines for classifying locations Class 1, Division 1, and Class 1, Division 2 at petroleum facilities for the selection and installation of electrical equipment. The overall goal for both of these documents is for the end user to assign a proper classification to the location under consideration. This allows the proper installation of electrical and electronic equipment and wiring methods which meets the requirements of the National Electrical Code. If you or someone in your organization desires additional information or services regarding this topic, please choose the link in this video description or go directly to our website at www.bathpsm.com.